In the past, I knew what it was like to have very long curly hair. Now, I know what it's like to have short curly hair. But tomorrow, I'm gonna discover what it is like to have very short curly hair. <laughs> Cause I'm getting another chop, y'all. <laughs> I honestly don't miss my long hair like at all. I can say that I have zero regrets. However, there are definitely pros and cons to short curly hair that I wasn't aware of until I became a fellow mushroom head. First, let's look at the cons, okay? This is the internet. People don't want anything positive and happy, okay? They want the nitty gritty. They want the drama. One, short hair requires a lot of trims if you want to keep that specific short style, which is definitely something that I did not think about. My trims are not cheap, okay? If I don't want to look like I got chewed up by a weed whacker, I gotta pay a curly hair expert, okay? And that does not come cheap. Two, you never know what you're gonna get. Cutting your curly hair short for the very first time is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Maybe you wanted a Twix, but you ended up getting a Babe Ruth. And you're like, mm, I don't know about them salty nuts. And you will never know unless you just go for it. Number three, I need to wash more often because short hair is more prone to losing its shape. And because it's short, the sebum reaches the end of my hair strand way faster, so it gets oily way faster thus creating the need to wash more often. Now let's look at the pros. One, super low maintenance. My shower routine is so much faster. I used to spend one hour minimum detangling my hair because I had so much knots and dryness. So it is really dope to just be able to jump in the shower and jump right back out. For this wash day, I'm using the Maui Moisture Flaxseed Shampoo and Conditioner. They contain aloe vera juice as the first ingredient, as well as coconut water and linseed oil. The shampoo is my favorite product from this line because it provides a very thorough cleanse without stripping the hair. And the conditioner provides moisture that isn't greasy. If you would like to try any of these products, check the link down below in the description box. Beautiful. Two, it's more versatile. I used to never do hairstyles because my hair was way too long and styling took forever. And now I can actually be creative. I do a lot of cute hairstyles with bandanas and scarves and hats and headbands. And best of all, I can slick my hair back now, which I've always wanted to do and I feel slick as frick. Number three. No stress, baby. Akuna Matara. I used to always stress out about ruining my hair. I didn't like people touching it or bumping it or having to put it up in a bun or going to the gym or swimming or stuff, you know? Like, I was afraid to ruin my hair because I was ruining all my hard work. But now, since my washes are so quick and easy and my hair dries faster, I don't really care that much about ruining it. Plus, if I do ruin it, I just slick it back. It's awesome, I'm telling y'all. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be cutting my hair even shorter and i'm a little nervous because i don't know what it's gonna look like but you know what if it comes out bad i'll just shave my head right which i've always wanted to do anyway so win win okay i need to leave in five minutes but i'm gonna refresh my hair real quick first thing i do is i fluff my hair i kind of just go like this it helps to loosen them and to give me a little bit more volume. So I kind of just have frizz everywhere because I just woke up. I'm going to be using the Maui Moisture Flaxseed Curl Refresher Mist. It contains aloe vera juice, coconut water, and linseed oil, which are very lightweight refreshers and is exactly what I need right now. I like to spray the product directly onto my fingertips. And with that product, I go curl by curl, smoothing them down to get rid of the frizz and to revive them with moisture, shine, and definition. A little goes a very long way. And there we go. I gotta go! <laughs> For this haircut, I went back to the original hairdresser who gave me this haircut, and that is Michaela O. Oh, I really trust her and I really love her work. I showed her a picture of what I wanted to get and I asked her honest opinion on my hair texture. I think it'd be great. He's super cute. I think so and too. And you're good at styling your hair. Like, if you weren't good at styling your hair, I concerned. might be more concerned. <laughs> but I know you'll be able to handle it. So this is my new hair, y'all. Honestly, I can say that short curly hair life is definitely for me. I just don't really see myself going back to long hair. I personally feel like people paint short curly hair as something that is not very 
desirable. Long curly hair is the goal, right? For us to grow our hair as long as possible and have it as curly as possible, which is not a bad thing at all. But long curly hair should be a preference and not the ideal goal for everyone. When I had long hair, I felt like that was my identity, you know, that was my identifier. But now I feel like my hair is an extension of me and who I am and a true sense of self-expression. So it makes me so much happier. There's this underlying fear when it comes to cutting curly hair because, you know, we don't want it to be too short or what if it's too curly to look good on me? Which is a completely valid fear because if you get a bad hairdresser, they can really mess you up and it may not come out how you wanted it to. So if you want to cut your curly hair short, here are my personal tips. Go to Google Maps and type in curly haircut. This is going to pull up salons near you that have the word curly haircut on their website. Look at the salons with the highest reviews. Check out their website and see if they have any portfolios to show how they cut curly hair. Check out the Instagram profile of that hairdresser so that you can see their past work. And before you book the appointment, send a DM to the hairdresser. Show them what your hair looks like now and what you want it to look like. Ask them if they feel confident to do this haircut. The first hairdresser that I spoke to straight up told me, no, I do not feel confident doing this haircut, but I feel confident with this person doing your haircut. That's who I went to and she's done amazing every single time. So do your research and ask around if you want to have a good experience and end up with hair that you would like, not with hair that you're gonna hate. Alrighty y'all, so that is my pixie cut. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've ever had a pixie cut, if you're wanting a pixie cut. As always, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.